I'll be cutting a quarter inch thick Lexan sheet with a circular saw. If the sheet is less than one eighth inch thick, you might be able to cut it with a utility knife. This is the only specific guidance for cutting with a circular saw in the manufacturer's tech manual. The results from the research to find the best blade varied. United States Plastic Corporation recommended a carbide tip blade with about 70 teeth for a 7.5 inch blade. Top Plastics was selling a 40 tooth blade to cut polycarbonate. I also found similar blades being sold for cutting plastics at two other tool websites. I went with a consensus of 40 teeth, scaled it down for my 6.5 inch saw, and this is the closest match that I found. Some quick circular saw general knowledge and safety. Ensure that the saw speed, 5,000 RPMs on this saw, does not exceed the maximum speed of the blade. Ensure that the arrow on the blade matches the rotation direction on the saw. Do not use a undersized extension cord for the amperage of your saw. Many of us own a 16 gauge 50 foot extension cord that is too small for this 10 amp saw. Wear safety glasses, earplugs, and a dust mask. Polycarbonate scratches easily. Do not remove the protective film until cutting is complete. I've checked two opposing corners and I know that the sheet is square. The sheet is bouncy. So I'll put it on a firm base. I have a sturdy platform that I can put my sheet on top of. Avoid cutting between a large unsupported span. If you were to cut down the center of this, the two pieces would start to pinch the blade of the saw, causing the saw to kick back and come towards you. I'll measure for my cut. I'll use a straight edge to draw my cut line. I'll need to figure out the offset of the saw. I've put the edge of the blade against the line I want to cut. This is my waist piece, so the edge of the blade is on this side of the line, and the blade will cut oh, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch away from the waist piece. With the saw in this position, I'll mark the edge of the shoe. I'll measure the distance between the two lines and transfer that measurement to the other side of the sheet. The straight edge is clamped onto those two points so that the side of the base plate of the saw can run along the straight edge and cut to the correct measurement. The saw is set for a 90 degree angle. That's what I want. Set the blade depth so that it's between an eighth and a quarter inch below the material. There's the finished cut. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.